one of the most important stages of decorating is making good filling and uh, one has to make the filler correctly to gain the correct results. Here we have some tools and here is the tools and this is a spatula for wide areas this is a continental filling knife different sizes some sandpaper there we've got the internal filler which is water based for interior decoration and a bucket for cleaning our tools and also you can mix uh, the filler in a bucket or a bowl uh, depending upon what uh, your preference is and for demonstration purposes we shall mix the internal filler on a board we'll try and uh, sprinkle it out just enough for we can mix it and use that amount of filler for the purpose so we don't have excess filler and wasting filler pattern it into sort of a square and then put a hole in the middle which we will add water into that hole but we're only putting a small amount of water so we're able to mix that water with the filler and without the water dispersing in different areas onto the board which would make it difficult for it to mix. There we go, patting it on the sides and then just on the edges, getting the loose filler and just placing it into the center and then we can start mixing that water with the filler. This will take several times to do this. Again, we're putting some water in but not a great amount because we've already started the process off again working from the sides we're filling that center section with the filler that's not been connected with the water now we know that we don't wish to put, add any more water into the circle but it's a bit sticky in there because it's uh, quite thick so we just sprinkle a bit of water onto the board and now we mix it just like a, as if you are making dough for a bread we start kneading it with the uh, filling knife which is a continental filling knife or you could use a filling knife with a handle on it as you can see um, still a bit sticking it wants to be quite malleable yet quite um, sort of able to able to form things from the filler and it's not it doesn't uh, sort of run off the knife or on the board and so just to prove that just to test it put some on to the filling knife and look it's not falling off it's all ready to go and start filling thank you for watching kudos training .biz. every time you do a mix and use the filler please wash the tools and start again